See that? <laughs> Shit. I think we're dead. I, if I was faster, I should have chose a cat. Um, can't run from Val. We tried. I don't know. That thing is faster than we are. It's only gonna put us at 21. It's gonna... It's gonna kill us. It's gotta miss. Does it not miss? I swear to God. Fuck! Okay, guys, um, full disclosure, I, from the clip at the beginning of this, uh, video, lost the Nuzlocke run right off the bat. So, I'm gonna try and talk as I go through this, um, real quick. Well, not real quick, because the start of this game is long. And that that is why I'm so frustrated right now. But you know what? I had a beer. Or two. I put a dip in. I'm ready to go back through the start of this game to get back to where I was. And do it right this time. So, as you can tell from the previous clip, we are now choosing a different starter. Alright. Still not play Coco because I used that in my other playthrough on Violet. And I wanted to try a different starter. I wanted to go with the duck because he looks cool as hell, but uh, it didn't do me so good. And uh, to be completely honest, like I've done little to no research and it's absolutely no research. And I got the short, I was not ready for the Nimona fight where she uh, terrestrialize and just wipe my team I was way under level though I was just not ready for it um, but hopefully with this starter here we will be we'll be ready to go so um, let's get into it but like I said I've only I've only played through gen 9 one time I'm a little late to the party I was kind of skeptical at first because I haven't played a Pokemon game in so long. But it's actually really, really refreshing to like get back into it. So I did beat Violet even though they've been out for several months now. Like I'm just now getting around to it. But I had such a great time doing it that I wanted to try Nuzlocke. And it's not just any Nuzlocke. Like this is my first one ever that I'm attempting. So it's for a generation that I am not familiar with. That makes it hard enough. Two, like this game is still pretty new to me. So not only the generation of new Pokemon and all that, but um, just the game itself. Like, yeah, I did play through it once casually, but um, it's still it's still fresh. All right, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm a noob. All right, as you can tell, I've already I'm already one loss down in the Nuzlocke. So we're restarting already. 
but we're gonna try our luck with a grass starter and it's actually kind of kind of odd because uh, I never the only grass starter I ever choose or have ever chosen has been Turtwig and again full disclosure again on another part Gen 3 to Gen 4 a little bit, that's kind of where my uh, my knowledge lies for uh, Pokemon games. Like, 5 up to now, I played Sword and Shield. I did do a Shield playthrough way back in the day when it came out. Um, but I've only beat... I want to say... Oh, shit, I can't even remember five and six what those generations were. But I think when I did go back and play the generations, I think I played all of them once, but it's real hazy to me. Um, but here we are. We're, we're here for it. We're here for the challenge. I just really hate that the start of this game is so slow and there's so much dialogue to it. It's uh, it's not a good time. Like it, it took me an hour to get to where I died, and it's a lot of uh, me mashing B. Like that. That's all you're gonna hear in the mic. It's just mashing B to get there, so we can get them to stop talking. And I'm trying to get there as fast as I can now. Because I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna rematch real bad. All right. But uh, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and get into it. And I feel like I'm gonna be I feel like to myself I'm gonna repeat and everything because I basically lost an hour of recording of me trying to fill time through all this dialogue, but let's go man. Um first thing is first. Um I did this last time. So let's go do it real quick because I don't like the way our dude is looking. We get we gotta not look like a rookie. But here we go. Alright, now now we're looking more of the part. I should have named my guy Gary Oak. I think that was my problem. Was we weren't the GOAT. The greatest of all time. So yeah, if you can't tell by the thumbnail. Um, Gary Oak. Uh, best person, best character in the anime, best rival, you know, Blue's OG. And that that's, you know, obviously my favorite, you know. Giving him all the hype, all the praise. But I am I'm ready to get this started. Hopefully it gives me different um encounters too. But that is another thing too, I guess I should mention. So, the Nuzlocke rules will be posted down below. However, I'm going to do it a little different. I will go over how I'm going to do each route and how I'm going to catch my catch my Pokemon, okay? So, I wanted to keep it kind of traditional, but I also wanted to put uh, kind of a new twist on it with the, uh, the raids on it, right? So, I'm still going to get one encounter per route or per area in this game. But I'm also going to do uh, one raid den encounter. So I can get one before the first gym that we tackle. And then I get, additionally to each route I get, after every main story event that we complete, we get one raid uh, den encounter too. And that's going to help too because there is, if I remember what I read correctly, um, I think there's like 20 something, 26 or 28 like different areas or routes in this game, which is a extremely low number compared to other generations. So I think with adding the raids in there to get, and also it's a random encounter too, you don't know what you're going to get. So that helps for that aspect too. So that'll be kind of cool and kind of neat. So I'm going to add that in there too. Just to, just to kind of put my own spin on it, but everything else should be the same, you know. So without further ado, uh, I count this as our first encounter here, even though it's even though it's static. So 
let's go ahead and catch our little pig. And I'm kind of looking forward to using the cat. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the way it looked, but, um... I know that it is faster than all the others, so that might be that might be kind of useful. And going with Quaxley would have made the start of the game so much harder. I mean, I found out the hard way. So let's not uh, make that mistake twice. But let's go ahead and and name our piggy just just because I can oh whoops uh, I can rename it here in a sec I clicked the wrong button there I'm a noob all right I'm a noob at nuzlocking so if you guys got any tips drop them drop them below I will read them probably won't use them and I'll die again right away but um yeah let's uh let's learn together I'm ready to learn this generation and try harder not to suck you know maybe a little bit of preparation for where I'm at in the game would be, be helpful to myself but let's oh I did not want to do that I can't, can't I can't name it yet I thought you could rename it oh I can right here okay yeah I, I thought I thought so I can't even type, like, I did it twice. There we go, we got Oink 2, alright? This one, this one's way better. Way better than the last one. But let's go get all the items that we picked up the first time. And... I should probably do I should probably do some battles while we're while we're here. We did last time too to level up a little bit. And we'll we'll do some more before the Nimona fight that I wasn't prepared for. I'm just kinda salty about it, like if you can't tell, I'm so salty about it. But we're here. We're back. We're here. We're here for the grind. Gotta get that item. Gotta get this one. Is there... I don't even think I checked up here last time. Is there one back here? There is. Oh, it's a super potion! That would, uh... That may have saved my run. I think if I would have had a super potion... I would have lived a hit with Quaxley, and then we would have been fine. We would have lost all our team, but we would have been fine. A little bit of exploration helps. Maybe I shouldn't rush as much through it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time a little bit. We're gonna make up for, we're gonna make up some ground. Oh, we learned bite too. Our, our Tom is going to do so good. Our little Tom Cat. Little Tom and Jerry action. Now, if we can get a mouse on the team, we would be... We would be ready. Kind of want to get another level too. Before we fight Arvin and some trainers on the next route. And I'm not sure how exactly I want to go about doing each route for the encounters because everything is open world. Um, you know, there's a couple different ways that uh, I've seen because I looked up different rules for what people are doing for the encounters in this game just because it's so different to others traditionally. Um, there was people that were doing, and I thought about doing it this way. Um, people were, and I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm, I'm noticing it myself, and it's annoying the shit out of me. 
but people were doing this is what screwed me over I kind of want revenge it's a level five I kind of want revenge on it but people were doing three encounters before the first gym and then three after every story event didn't matter the area you just got three encounters is what you did and they got like three to five minutes to find their encounter if not if that time ran out then it was whatever was closest to them and I didn't really want to do that because I felt like that was kind of cheating where you can go pick and choose your team but with there being so many like <clears throat> a low number of routes that it kind of I felt like I was kind of balanced but I wanted to do I wanted to do something with the with the raids because that seemed kind of cool But I don't know if I want to either pick the one I get for that route, which I'm kind of leaning towards. But then again, it makes it unfair because I can go pick, you know, whatever rare spawn is there. So I should give myself a time limit. Or I don't know if I just go with whatever, you know, first one or two pop up on that route. And then, you know, have to pick between the one or two that are popped up in the open world and go with that it's probably what I'm leaning towards it's probably that's what we're gonna go with yeah, I think it's a little bit more fair and it's gonna give me what I want what I'm looking for in the playthrough I want to I want to use different Pokemon that I don't normally use or wouldn't normally use so that's what it's about we're gonna go here to learn but let's go get this item and I'm gonna go look up here yeah I didn't even go up here last time Oh, there's two items up here. Sweet. A little bit of exploration goes a long way. And we will, we will take everything we got. Oh, there's another one? I walked right past that tree. Oh, we'll do one more battle. Let's go give Coridon the sandwich that my mom made for me with love. I'm just gonna give it away. It's a little heartbreaking. Oh, I do need to write down um, where we got our encounters. That way, I don't forget. I don't want to forget because everything kind of runs together. I just want to have everything written down. That way I know for sure where I'm at. With it being the first nose lock, I want to make sure I do it right. But I also do want to hurry up through all this stuff. And that Rotom phone comes in clutch. It just saved our life. I know you're hurt. Let's go save you. Let's go save you, buddy. We're here for it. I want you to be mine. I want you to battle for me, but, you know, that's not going to happen right away. All right. All right. Let's master B button. Let's get through all this. We've been here before. Come on. Only wasted an hour of my time. All right, I am going to put a bigger dip in because uh, I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready. I'm more prepared for part one now. And I feel like... <laughs> after my little learning experience that we are going up to do a little bit of grinding here and there this game is actually it was actually pretty difficult 
going in blind to it. Um, what screwed me over the most, like oddly enough, it tells you the types. But the team star bases were actually kind of difficult with the freaking star mobile, dude. All of that stuff kind of kind of threw me off. It messed me up a little bit. But let's uh let's go get our items. I wish you would keep walking, honestly, dude. Nimona and Arvin are like the most annoying characters ever. Nimona flirts so much with me. Like, I'm only ten, girl. We don't we don't need your number right now. And Arvin <laughs> it, it's it's kinda sad to say. I had such a dislike for him like at the start of the game, and then once the story develops and everything, you like like end up feeling bad for him. So it makes you feel like a complete like POS. But let's uh, let's go get these items. And in this cave, we can either get we already have a normal type on the team, so we can encounter a Diglett here actually. Which is gonna be a nice addition. Oh, I did not heal up. I thought it automatically healed us up because of the Arvin fight and the Hound Doom encounter. But all it is, I probably could have threw a Pokeball at it and been fine, honestly. Oh, we almost killed it. We almost killed it. Alright, get in the ball. I want to see what moves this knows. I need to go look at everyone's summary too, just to see, just to see what we're dealing with here with the team. I can't pull it up. There's an item back here though. Well, did I miss one? I thought there was one right here too. Maybe it was just that one back there I saw. Can I not open up my menu? That's so weird. I thought I could. Maybe not in here while Karadon's walking around. You know, protecting my ass. Right, let's go back here. And grab this. Oh, it's a revive. Uh, I mean, I guess we could sell it for money. That's fine. Is that it? Is there another one? I didn't look back here last time, so I just wanna... I wanna make sure we're covered. Really, there's nothing down there? Oh, there's something. Saw the cave opening. Oh, it's two Pokeballs. Nice. That's where we came in at, right? That has to be. Okay. Well, we're we're learning. We're learning. We're learning. 
Alright, but we do want to go up here. It's just so slow. Like, I love you, Karadon. I love you already. But... You could, uh... You could hurry it up a little bit. You know, I've never really been exploring here. I never came back in my first playthrough, so... Kind of checking it out. It'd be crazy if they let us catch this. Do we get a chance at it? Oh no, you can't even try and catch it. But it lets us try and battle it. That makes complete sense. That Houndoom wants to smoke. I really wish they would have put a, a shiny, shiny houndour in that pack just so people come back here and hunt for it and then never find it. That would have been a nice little, nice little joke to throw in there. Yeah, I didn't realize she clapped for us either. I just like how we could go through that whole cave all strong and bad, and then as soon as he gets out, he's like, nah, I'm done. It's like, I give up. Alright, but we got another battle coming up. Yep, yeah, let's, uh, come on. We, we got places to be, girl. We've been here before. I want to get going. I just want to see how loud I can mash this button and wear it out. Let's go, let's go, let's go battle this guy. After he's like really rude and stuff. We gotta put him in his place. Look at Arvin, he's just, he gets so worked up. Like it's hard to like him. It was really hard to like him in the early game. Alright, let's battle. We're gonna end you. If you end us, I will, like, quit at life. And we got Snapchat going off, too. So probably... Alright, guy. Come on. If you're gonna talk shit... Well, let's get to it.
Oh, I didn't even... I didn't look at their... my Pokemon summary. I wanted to see what their nature and stuff was. So I'm trying to learn more about that stuff too and see... Uh, how useful they can be in what parts. Like, it's a big learning curve. For a first timer, I just want to make sure I do it right. We'll take you down, don't worry. That dude's a little salty. Alright, we're... We're almost, we're almost free, a little bit. So we got some dialogue to go through. Yeah, he just gave Karad on away. Like, who does that? He just gave away a legendary. It's like, here, take care of it, can't handle it. I'll feed it sandwiches all day long. Let's go to the top of the lighthouse, but I'm gonna go grab this item back here real quick. Can't even remember what it is, if it's even useful or not. Yep, that's... Uh, it's money, I guess. Free money. Can't complain. Alright, let's go up here. Let's talk, let's talk to our girlfriend. She's definitely crazy about us. Yeah, that school's massive. Yep, we know. You want to battle a lot. Yeah, you already... You already destroyed us once. I mean, what's another time? This time we're coming. You don't want the smoke. She said, let's go. We can go. I'm going. Real quick. Let's go. Let's go look at what we're dealing with. Grass type moves when HP's low. Holding a berry. Uh, can't flee from battle. Do we have any berries to give for HP? We don't. We do not. And I think we're we're at a new route right now. That was the bear we just saw found on the ground. Confusion paralysis. We can battle this guy first before getting an encounter. Oh, I see a Psyduck. Saw so Psyduck and a a weasel down there. You know, I'm probably gonna butcher everybody's name. So feel free to give me shit about that. But like I said, my knowledge. We're learning. We're learning. It's been a while. If this was Gen 1, 2 or 3, we'd be we'd be solid. And Gen 2 is uh, clearly the best. It's my favorite. 
And uh, if we ever get a Larvitar, you know, I'm all for it. My favorite, my favorite Pokemon of all time is Tyranitar. And um, if it's not yours, then you're wrong. That Psyduck is still there. This one. This one's the one. It did not move. Well, that'll be nice, too, because now our typing's, like, really well-rounded. Right away. We'll see if we can get it in one. We got it. Oh, it's a girl side hook? Oh. We gotta name it Misty. We gotta go. Um, you know what? We'll go classic. This is Miss this is Missy Psyduck right here. We should never evolve it. The Azumarill would have been kinda cool. That is a level six that is a huge jump. We can do some of these water types real easy. That was not super effective. Oh, that is part fairy or part psychic? That's gonna, it's gonna screw me over a lot too. I'm gonna screw myself over because I'm not real familiar, especially with all the new generation, all their typings, like, we're gonna, we're gonna learn the hard way. That's how it lived. What a champ. be my attack stat. That'll be nice. I kind of want to go explore this area a little bit. And see what kind of items we can find. I don't think I'm going to go too extremely far. But... Just like seeing if there's anything around. All this stuff's gonna help. Uh, did I go up here? No, I did not. I did not. I did not go up there. Oh shit, I didn't even see the sun current. It blended in so well. I did not see that. Oh, I didn't see that hop up either. I was not I was not looking right there. Okay, let's 
let's go grab this item. Oh, I need to look at Psyduck's, uh, Psyduck stuff too. I'm just so ready to go, I keep forgetting to do all this stuff that I've been telling myself I was going to do. It's like, take it slow, do this and that, and be like, oh, shit, we've got to do what I said I was going to do. Uh, I know it's a water gun. I mean, be all right. All right, there's a Pokemon. Oh, I guess there's a battle right here. Where's that kid at? And how OP is the new Wooper like? I use that in my first playthrough for a while. Like I changed my team around a lot because I was catching just about anything I could. But that is the one like Pokemon that stayed with my starter for a while. Just because it was so useful. You ain't ready. You ain't ready for this cat. Oh, we got confusion. Noise. I think we got that real early. Then again, I would honestly not know. All right. Let us let us heal up here. It doesn't make sense that they go over this tutorial right here. Like, if we're truly in school in this game, they will tell us in the classroom. They honestly need, like, an option. Like, if you're a new player, if you're not, like, do you want all the tutorial stuff? Like, nah. We're good. Trying to tell us how to play like we haven't done this before. Look at our team though. We're looking we're looking good. And we are gonna buy some stuff. We'll buy ten potions. Buy 10 more Pokeballs. And just so we don't screw ourselves over later, let's buy 10 Vocal Dolls too while we're here. We'll sell our vibes and all that stuff later. We might do some of the boring stuff off screen. Grind a little bit and sell stuff. But we're getting back to it. Now I need to battle some trainers and stuff. On this route to prepare for this fight. Or we lost. We need, we need, we need to level up a little bit. Come on, come on, kitty. You can one shot everybody. Come on. I believe in you. All right, what? Uh, got some more side up here. 
The little whoopers in the water, it's so... Such a good look. It's my man down there. I do... I really dislike how this game looks compared to other games on the Switch. Like, there, there are parts in this game where... What is that? Oh, it's a little... A little Bonsley and a Pichu? Oh, shit. I want it so bad, but I can't catch them. This game looks so bad, though, compared to other games on the Switch. Like, it looks great at times, and then other times it doesn't. Like, the Let's Go games looked really, really clean. And then there's, you know, there's this. At times where it looks like complete shit. And there's no other way to put it, honestly. There, there's not. Oh, there's another item over here we missed. And this is all... We did not go this far. Alright, let's go back down here, though. There's some more... I think there's two more trainers we can fight before the battle. I just can't believe we ran into a Pichu and a Bonsly right there. They're so freaking... They're adorable. We cannot let Psyduck die when we fight Nimona. It's kind of it's kind of BS that she gets to terrestrialize and we don't. That is some bullshit. Oh, I thought that was another Pichu there. I was like, oh shit. It's like it's meant to be. I don't like how this is the the delivery guy here We're looking for looking for smoke. Oh, that was a flying type. I didn't even think. Hopefully we're all right. Okay, it's not a flying type move. Okay, we're good. I was a little nervous at first. I was like, you know, maybe we'll be able to kill it with one hit. And then, all right. I think that's all the trainers. I think that is all. But we can run around here for a minute. And see if there's any. Oh, there's an item on the ground. What does that berry do? You know what? Um, what might be a good idea? Uh, paralysis. We have that right there. Look at the little Bonsley. Look at it. Was that another trainer right there? You know, we gotta fight to beat you. Oh shit, it's all seven. We're paralyzed. Do I eat my berry? I don't want to go battle this trainer now. Is 
So I don't know how strong he's going to be. But if he's on this route... Shouldn't be that high level, right? I guess we'll find out. So you trying to power up on me over there? Well, Sunkern's trying to trying to get me. I think we battle this guy. Oh, so janitor. What does he got? A little gulp in? Oh, not, not what I wanted to use. Oh, and it, and it knows Yawn? Trying to put me to sleep? Oh, we didn't even get it. I don't want to deal with that. Oink 2's coming out, new and improved. Well, our cat's asleep. Heaven forbid the Pokemon Center is right there, right? But we can't walk that far. I say we do one more level and take her on. I don't. Uh, yeah, we can't. I don't think I can go in the water yet. Let's battle one of these cotton ball spiders. A Tarantula. It's level 8. Dang. They're up there. We gotta get our guys that high. Yeah, we need we need we need Diglett up there. He might he might be he might be useful. There's another Pichu there. No, I wish it was shiny. I really do. I would I wouldn't even evolve it. What happened to all the Psyduck, man? I was trying to lower my defense. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Kind of nervous. I 
Let's go talk to the Pokemon League guy and get our points. Alright. The test of time is here. We're back to where we were. I wonder what happens if I tell her no. Can I skip this fight? Okay, you cannot skip it. I think this time I'm going to do a little bit differently. Let's set up some home some home claws. It's just going to growl us. Okay, never mind. I wish I would have one-shot it. Does Diglett? No. Oh, it does not know a ground move. I say we stay here. Let's see if we can beat her without switching out. But she pulls some of this BS on us. It's like, it's like, come on, girl. It's not fair. I just hope we outspeed it. Oh, we do. Yeah, give us the option to terrestrialize. Don't kill me. Oh, okay. It like one shot pretty much my whole team or put me into a place where like I had no other option than to heal and I was not fast enough. Okay, I just need to get a hit. We are already doing so much better. All because of we all because we chose a better starter. We still got a full team. She gave me three revives. Thanks, girl. Didn't need them. You might need those, actually. Keep those to yourself. We're here. Okay, that is, that is a relief. We came back with the revenge match, you know. And it just throws us right to the school. I want to skip all of it. Give us the option.
Girl, I just whipped you. You need to you need to leave me alone. I don't want to go to school with you and hold your hand, even though you know what? That might give us that might give us some cool kid points. Oh, I do need to hit up the deli bird shop. I think there's one in this town. Yeah, I know. I need a trust slice too. It'd make it a little bit more fair, you cheater. Alright. As soon as she's done talking. We're going to leave off here, guys, for part one. We're going to get through the rest of the introduction to this game where there's a lot more dialogue to go through before jumping into the actual start of the challenge. But anyways, guys, until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace out.